Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and this is Monday Minute. It's all about color sometimes, isn't it? Some of us are a little more challenged in the areas of color, and I hear from a lot of young and aspiring people that want to uh, get into sequencing that they struggle with color. What color should I go with? Well, you can't go wrong with white, green, red, you know, the basics, but there's more to a good sequence than just the basic colors. I mean, yes, sure, those are pretty festive colors for Christmas, but there's a lot of variety out there. And you're not seeing a ton of sequences solely focused on traditional music anymore. Not really, are we? Not traditional Christmas music, no, not really. So something that I've done over the years to help me get out of that rut where I feel like I just don't know what colors to go with is to take advantage of some tools. And it doesn't matter if you're on the Windows side or if you're on the Mac side. So I'm gonna show you first a tool that I use on the Windows side, which I don't really sequence with a whole lot these days, but there are a lot of folks that use Windows computers and I don't think you need to go burn cash just to get this feature I'm gonna show you in just a couple of minutes. But first, let's look at the Windows feature set for choosing your colors. Uh, many of you know that when you're in the effect bar over here for color, not the effect, but the color bar, you can click on this and choose your colors. And on the Windows side, it pops up a window that looks like this, okay? And if you want to create a custom color, uh, you can slide this around, you can put in your values for RGB, red, green, blue, you can change the hue, saturation, and luminance, okay? And you can put them in. Or you can just put these in manually based on something like a color picker. So I'm gonna show you this color picker. And this is a pretty cool tool. This is free for you to use. This is by imagecolorpicker.com slash en, and you can pick your color online. And this is the very tool I use when I created all the color palettes for This Is Christmas, A Nightmare Before Halloween. I really wanted to go after the colors that were in uh, that movie. And I did that by uh, using this tool. As you can see here, if I drag around, you're gonna see it adjust the RGB values here and there's the hexadecimal values there for color, uh, or I can grab on any of these. So you can use an image. If I click on use your image, it'll ask me, do you wanna use an image from your desktop somewhere, or do you wanna use a website? So here's something I found on Pinterest. This, these are the colors that were used in the Nightmare Before Christmas. So if we copy this, and then we go over here to our color picker and we say, hey, you know, let's use a website URL. And you put this in here and click OK. What this will do is pull up the website and now I can start clicking on these colors. This is pretty cool, right? So if I click on this middle color here, here are the values that it pulls up. This first color, okay? Even though this is wrong, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this. I'm gonna see if the code is copied. Well, we may wanna enter this in, 228, 211, 180. Okay, 228, 211, 180. If I go over here and click on this red, and I go to my slider over here, I can type in 228, 211. Oh goodness, what was that last color? What was the last color? What was it, what was it, what was it? 180, okay, let's get back to this and 180. Click this to the field, and there it is. That's kinda cool. That's kinda cool, right? I like that. If you're on Windows, you don't get some of the comfort features I'm about to show you on the Mac side that's gonna make you go, oh, why isn't this in Windows? I'm sorry, maybe later. And, and by the way, this is not a feature that is because of the developer's uh, input on this, it's just, Mac has a certain way it handles colors and Windows has a certain way it handles it. So this is not a dig on anybody. Uh, and so what I can do here is I have all these colors. You can see I have a lot on here because I copied my RGBFX file for, uh, for some training. I can take this and drag this right on top of this first color or put it right in front of it and then there it is. Folks, if these videos are helping you out along your journey of lighting with X lights, be sure and smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you get notifications when new content arrives. I sure appreciate it 
now it's in my library. As you can see, I have a lot more colors I can add to this library on the Mac side. So I'm gonna drag this again. I'm gonna put this down here. And now there we go. What I would love to see would be to have specialized color uh, palettes that I can name and hear and be able to choose uh, at will. You know, food for thought, food for thought, okay. So that's the way you can manually input this information for a color palette using Windows with an online tool on the Windows side. There's your, there's that. And then the online tool, once again for you, is just this imagecolorpicker.com. And by the way, for whatever reason, when we click on one of these other colors, oh, no, oh and suddenly it catches up. But it's still the wrong color. It's still the wrong color. Just maybe it's just taking time. You see it change here. I would say just copy that. Now I'm I'm curious. I'm curious to see what this does. I'm gonna click on the second color here. I'm gonna to go to my sliders. I am sure there is no way I can paste this. No. Well, yeah, you, you can. You can paste it till you get the first color. I could take out that parenthesis, then I could control X that. Oh, there's more information in there. We don't want that then paste this. I don't want that parenthesis. I could take this, I go over here. I only want the 98 and then the 169. X that out, paste that in there. And then there is our color right there. Drag it down here to the bottom. And now I have two colors in the palette. Beautiful, great, no worries. Let's close this. That was the window side of doing that. Now let's look at what you can do if you're a creator on the Mac side. Uh, if you have a Mac, uh, then you can do what I'm about to show you. I'm gonna click on this third color here, or I should say the fourth color. And we have a lot more options on the Mac side as far as choosing what you want, the sliders that you get on the window side, uh, crayons, developer, Apple, some of these things I don't even mess with. Uh, crayons, I sort of leave it on there. Uh, the next one, again, it's just the crayons. Let me go to this one here. Spectrum, and then you have, I don't think there's any other choices besides Spectrum. And then this one, it's kind of nice because you get a good visual on the color you're looking for, okay? But my favorite, my very favorite, favorite, favorite one here is uh, just simply using this eyedropper right here. This color picker, it looks like an eyedropper, but it's, it's a color picker. If I click on that, I can click anywhere on any of my screens and grab color and grab that color. So let me escape out of this. If I bring up the website I was showing you earlier and I just move this off to the side, about like that. And if I wanna get this color right in here of the moon, I click on the color picker, right? And I'm probably gonna need to uh, scoot my way. This is, I wish we could tell us to float, but that's okay. Let me get this out the way over here on the side. There we go. Let's go to the color picker one more time and I'm hovering over, I wanna get this more orangey color, it's this little, little warmer instead of this. I'm gonna grab this right about in here. There's my color, drag it, put it over here. Liking it, loving it. Then I might grab another one and maybe I'm looking for some of this really light blue or, wow, that's pretty cool looking. Let me see if I get this right about there. That looks good. And as you can see here, I'm starting to build up this catalog of colors that go along with the movie, or it might be a music video. Or you could simply go to wh wherever you might have seen the music in some video or movie and grab light colors. And I think it tells a better story where you're trying to keep colors more similar to something that will remind people that when they're watching their show, like, you know, gosh, those colors look just like from the movie. And I think that's a fun thing to do. And the Mac side makes it super, super easy for you to do. So you've got these in here, right? And you just want to click the one that you want. Uh, if we go with this color here and I X out of here, you'll see that now that color is in there. So if I, if I want to replace this yellow color over here with something different, click on it. Let's go over here into this 
color here. Just make sure it's selected, X out of it, and now there's the color. Beautiful. That's kind of cool. So I've got all these fun colors, and of course, uh, because it's a it's one effect there, you know, I can only choose really one. Oh, actually, yes, I can, but I need to be out of that. There we go. So there's all of our four new kind of cool colors that we created using a tool in X Lights on the Mac side or the website if you're on the Windows side. You should be able to get any color you like. And it's kind of a fun thing to do. And it takes you out of that plain old boring red, green, white, maybe some blue. So be creative out there, you creators, and show me what you got. All right, this has been Monday Minute. See ya. Thank you.